Have you ever considered the possibility of humans living on another planet? It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? An idea that has captured the human imagination for centuries, fueling science fiction novels, movies, and even real scientific research. The idea of space colonization is more than just a romanticized notion. It's a potential solution to some of the most pressing issues our world faces today. Our beloved Earth is groaning under the weight of overpopulation. Our numbers continue to rise, but our resources? They are not infinite. We're using up more than our fair share, and it's becoming more and more apparent that we need a plan B. But more than just the practical reasons, there's an innate human urge to explore, to venture into the unknown, to push the boundaries of our existence. So, where might we go? Well, scientists have been eyeing a few candidates. There's Mars, of course, our red neighbor. It's the most like Earth in terms of day length and seasonal patterns. Then there's Venus, which, despite its scorching temperatures and acidic atmosphere, has been considered for cloud city-style colonization. What about outside our solar system? Well, there's Proxima Centauri b, a planet orbiting the nearest star to our sun. It's located in the habitable zone, where conditions might just be right for liquid water. And then there's TRAPPIST-1e, one of seven planets orbiting a star 40 light-years away, which shows promise in terms of size, density, and the amount of radiation it receives from its star. These are just a handful of the possibilities. Each one comes with its own set of challenges, but also its own potential for discovery and growth. The cosmos is vast, and we're only just beginning to understand the myriad worlds it contains. Imagine, a home not on Earth, but in the vast expanse of space. But what does it take for a planet to be habitable? Well, the recipe for a habitable planet isn't as simple as one might think. It's not just about finding a rock floating in space and calling it a day. Oh no, it's a complex blend of key ingredients that need to be just right. First off, we need to consider the planet's location. Picture yourself at a cosmic buffet. The main course is a star, and you're trying to find the perfect spot to sit. You don't want to be too close because the heat would be unbearable, but sitting too far would leave you freezing. The sweet spot where the temperature is just right for liquid water to exist is often referred to as the Goldilocks zone. Speaking of water, it's the next vital ingredient. Water is the lifeblood of Earth, supporting all known forms of life. Any planet we'd like to call home should have plenty of it, preferably in its liquid state. Next up is a suitable atmosphere. It's like the wrapping paper around our cosmic gift. It needs to be thick enough to retain water and keep the planet warm, but not too thick to cause a runaway greenhouse effect. It should also have the right balance of gases to support life. Now, add a dash of stable rotation. A planet that spins too slow or too fast can result in extreme temperature differences between its day and night sides. A gentle, steady rotation helps distribute heat evenly, making the planet more livable. Lastly, we need a shield, a magnetic field to be precise. Solar radiation can be damaging to life, so a strong magnetic field can deflect these harmful rays, protecting the planet and its atmosphere. So there you have it. A habitable planet isn't just a place, it's a finely tuned system. It's a cosmic dance of elements and conditions that all need to work in harmony. Simply put, a habitable planet is like a well-prepared dish. It needs the right ingredients in the right amounts. Space colonization, however, is not a walk in the park. Imagine trying to move your entire life, not just to another country, but to a different planet, light years away. The logistics of transportation are, mildly put, a colossal challenge. Not only do we need to develop spacecraft capable of interstellar travel at speeds we can currently only dream of, but we must also ensure the safety of those aboard during the long journey. And that's just the commute. Once we reach our destination, we face the daunting task of creating self-sustaining ecosystems. Remember, we can't just pop over to the nearest grocery store when we run out of supplies. We need to be able to grow our own food, recycle waste, and manage water resources efficiently. We also need to consider the energy requirements and come up with sustainable solutions that work in alien environments. And then there are the health issues. Space is not exactly known for its hospitable living conditions. Prolonged exposure to microgravity can lead to muscle atrophy and bone loss. Cosmic radiation poses a serious threat to our DNA, increasing the risk of cancer. Even the psychological impact of living in a confined space, far away from Earth and its familiar sights and sounds, is a challenge we cannot overlook. Let's not forget the technology. We would need advanced tech for everything from communication to construction. 
building a habitat that can withstand extreme conditions, creating advanced medical facilities, and developing efficient communication systems that keep us connected to Earth are all part of the colonization puzzle. So, yes, space colonization is fraught with challenges, but every challenge is an opportunity for innovation, for pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can achieve. Overcoming these challenges requires not just the brilliance of scientists and engineers, but the cooperation of nations and peoples around the globe. It's about coming together to reach for the stars, literally and metaphorically. Space colonization is not just a journey to a new home, it's a journey into the unknown. So, what does the future hold for space colonization? Well, it's safe to say that the future is looking extremely bright and dare I say it, out of this world. Over the past few decades, we've seen a seismic shift in the way we approach space exploration, with organizations like NASA and SpaceX leading the charge. NASA has been a trailblazer in space exploration since its inception. Their current focus is on the Artemis program, which aims to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024. With the establishment of a lunar base, NASA hopes to create a sustainable environment for human life, a stepping stone to the ultimate goal, Mars. But NASA isn't the only player in the game. Enter SpaceX, the brainchild of visionary Elon Musk. SpaceX's ambitious Starship project is designed to be a fully reusable transportation system capable of carrying up to 100 passengers to the Red Planet. Musk's audacious plan is to establish a self-sustaining colony on Mars by 2050. These projects represent just a fraction of the ongoing efforts to colonize space. The advancements in technology we're witnessing are accelerating this process. We're talking about 3D printing technology to construct habitats using lunar or Martian soil, or the development of advanced life support systems to recycle air and water, and grow food in space. These are not mere concepts on paper anymore, but tangible technologies being tested and refined. Of course, there's still a lot to figure out. There are countless technical challenges and ethical questions that need to be addressed. But the important thing is, we're on the right track and moving forward, driven by an insatiable curiosity and an unwavering belief in human potential. The idea of colonizing space, once a staple of science fiction, is now a very real and exciting part of our future. It's not going to be easy. But as we've proven time and time again, when it comes to pushing the boundaries of what's possible, we humans are pretty good at rising to the challenge. With every passing day, the dream of colonizing space is becoming less of a fantasy and more of a reality. So, are we ready to become interplanetary species? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? As we've seen, the journey is filled with opportunities and challenges alike. Let's recap the key elements that make a planet habitable for humans. First, we need a planet that's in the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. Then it needs to have an atmosphere to protect us from cosmic radiation and to help maintain a stable climate. And let's not forget about gravity. It needs to be strong enough to keep us and our atmosphere grounded, but not so strong that it crushes us. Space colonization, while exciting, is not without its challenges. We've talked about the physical and psychological effects of long-term space travel, and living in zero-gravity environments. Bone and muscle loss, space sickness, and isolation are just a few of the health issues astronauts face during long space missions. And these are things we'll have to overcome if we want to become a truly spacefaring species. But despite the challenges, the potential benefits of space colonization are enormous. Not only could it ensure the survival of humanity in case of a catastrophic event on Earth, but it could also open up new opportunities for scientific research, economic growth, and technological innovation. Imagine the kind of knowledge and resources we could gain from exploring and colonizing other planets. The importance of space research and exploration cannot be overstated. It's not just about finding a new home for humanity, but about understanding our place in the universe. It's about pushing the boundaries of what we know and can do, and about inspiring future generations to dream big and reach for the stars. So, while we may not be ready to pack our bags and move to Mars just yet, every step we take towards becoming an interplanetary species is a step towards a brighter future. The stars might be far away, but remember, so was the moon once.